Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. There is something that I've been telling you guys on this platform. And some of you guys think it's a joke. It's not. It's very serious. William Ruto is going to be a one-term president. Unless a miracle is going to happen. Between now and 2027. On Monday, <laughs> on Monday, UDA party decided to conduct some opinion poll on their verified page on Twitter, official fan page. This is a page that is verified, official fan page. This page has 432 followers on Twitter. It's only following 60 individuals. This page was used in the last election to really rally supporters of William Ruto. And the truth is 80 or 90% of the people on this page voted and campaigned for William Ruto in 2022. So this is what they posted yesterday on, on uh, Monday. Name the worst president Kenya has ever had since independent. The worst president. And uh, the results are out. Because Twitter only allows a maximum of seven, I mean, of uh, four options, they decided to split it into two. Where the first option had uh, President Jomo Kenyatta, Daniel Torotijarap Moy, and Moy Kibaki. So the worst in that category was Daniel Torotijarap Moy with uh, 62%. Then the second part, and I think they did this deliberately. Because they believed that William Ruto was going to whitewash Uhuru Kenyatta. Because most of these guys on this page voted against Raila Odinga because they wanted to punish Uhuru Kenyatta. So in the second vote, voting, it had the name of Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto. And surprisingly, the results is that majority of those people, UDA fans, believe that William Ruto is the worst president. He scored 79%, Uru 21%. That is something which is very serious. And I've gone through some of the comments here. <laughs> People are saying like, Evans Okalo, Ruto is the worst president Kenya had. William Ruto. William Ruto raised to power. Raised to power, Ruto expressed as Ruto infinity. <laughs> so, if you read this, you'll be shocked because these people, there's someone called Mark Wafula Lushiri He's saying, Ruto, I, vo I voted for him and I feel I'm part of the problem. <laughs> someone is also saying, it is so embarrassing to find out the truth when you are being paid to do propaganda. So the truth is, most of these people voted for Ruto and now they are, they are uh, disappointed. Baki alituambia kulipa ushuru ni kujitegemea. Na mimi naongezea kukopa na madeni ni kujiingiza kwa utumwa. So we have to make a decision. Do we want to be independent or do we want to be slaves? Because the choice is there. Wacha nirudie. Kibaki alituambia kulipa ushuru ni kujitegemea. Na mimi naongeza kuendelea kukopa madeni ni kujiweka kwenye utumwa. In this video, I want us to do a critical analysis of that particular outcome. Because numbers never lie. Never lie, especially this one on Twitter. Never lies. But before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two. Click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. But before I dive in, allow me to also take this opportunity to thank the following people. You are seeing their names on the screen there for the coffee which they sent to me earlier today. It goes a long way in supporting the channel you can also do the same using the numbers you are seeing on your screen ladies and gentlemen i've also 
opened a Facebook page, not profile, a new one, and I'd request you guys to join it because I'm uh, beginning, I want to focus again on uh, some uh, short clips on that particular on that particular Facebook page and I'm, I'll also be updating things. There are certain things which really we can't do on uh, YouTube. You know, YouTube has some very, very tough conditions and uh, some tough rules which there are certain things we can't say on, uh, on on YouTube, but we can freely say them on Facebook. So I'd want to ask you guys to subscribe because we're already at 800, I think 800, and I want the numbers to hit, I want the numbers to hit 5,000, then we can all interact so well. Please join, I'm going to put the link in the comment section for those who've missed the, the link. Ladies and gentlemen, what is my take on uh, this opinion poll? Because this one is not lying. It was conducted by them. You can only vote one once and the results are there. As a matter of fact, as at now, the number of people who voted for Ruto and Uhuru were 2,655. So that's a huge number based on the fact that they are online. And of course, sometimes online are not really what's happening on the ground. But this one is giving us rough, roughly what those who are online, especially those who voted for William Ruto in the last election, are thinking about him. So what is my take? Number one, Kenya Kwanzaa supporters are expressing their disappointment with William Ruto's leadership. That is the fact. Because the number is so huge. By pitting Uhuru versus Ruto and 79% are saying Ruto is the worst. That is something which is very serious. So it just shows you that these people are disappointed. And the question which Kenya Kwanza and William Ruto should actually be asking themselves is why are the supporters disappointed? What can they do to change that? Because if they won't do anything, the truth is William Ruto is going to be a one-term president. I don't know the trick is going to use. Unless the opposition is also disorganized, which, based on my assumption, is what I'm seeing. But the truth is, those Kenyans who voted for Ruto in 2022 who are disappointed. You talk to people, even on this channel, even on this channel, you ask people about all these things. They will tell you that, for me, I voted for Ruto, but I'm very, very angry with him. That's number one. Number two, all these things we are seeing are as a result of empty promises. In fact, the only thing that is going to bring William Ruto down is the empty promises that he made to Kenyans. William Ruto made so many promises. Some of them were so convincing and Kenyans were convinced, those who supported him, that he was the right guy. So they woke up, they voted for him in the hope that he was going to change some of those things. <laughs> Life in this country today is so worse. Worse than it was under Uru. Remember, the handshake happened. Then Uru faced COVID. Right? The country was shut down. Nothing was happening for over one year including schools, were closed. I'm just trying to imagine, personally, I'm, I always imagine that if Ruto was the president then, and then there's COVID, then there's a shutdown, where do you think the country would be today? Let me just give you a bit of this compilation of William Ruto's promises. Then you can understand why people who voted for him are very angry, bitter with him. In fact, in the next one month or so, you will see dollars coming down, the, uh, the, the exchange rate coming down in a very phenomenal way. In fact, in my estimation, in the next couple of months, the dollars will come, the exchange rate will come below 120 shillings. Maybe 115, you never know. So those who have been holding dollars everywhere, hoping that 
it will continue going up it will go down starting today tomorrow the day after so you have a few dollars that you are still holding please let them go to the market and you'll come to thank me for it after a week or two tutaweka pesa ya serikali kupunguza gharama ya mtungi ya gas ile ya kilo sita mnanunua 2500 2800 tutaishukisha chini mpaka shilingi 500 ama 300 The third thing I'm picking from this opinion poll is that majority of Kenyans who voted for William Ruto in the last election are regretting why they never listened to Uhuru Kenyatta. That's why only 21% believe that Uhuru Kenyatta is worse. They are regretting that if he had listened to this guy, we would not have ended up with the worst president. That's what I'm getting. Uhuru Kenyatta is actually vindicated. And that's why in Mount Kenya of late you no longer hear UDA leaders attacking Uru Kenyatta. I could be wrong, but they were in, in Gelegel. They never really attacked Uru Kenyatta the way they used to make Uru Kenyatta their pet subject. Because the ground has shifted. Those people who voted for this case are regretting. So that's also something which I picked I'm picking from uh, this uh, opinion poll number four is kenya kwanza policies <laughs> hey ruto told kenyans that the politics of conmanship the politics of deceit was coming to an end he took over william ruto is still conning kenyans he's still deceiving kenyans even today are you aware that William Ruto has borrowed what William Ruto has borrowed in uh, one year cannot be compared to, to what Uru Kenyatta borrowed in three years or in five years I think but outside there his supporters are made to believe that Uru is the one who over borrowed so it's sad policies are not working you know kenya kwanza came up with a policy and those policies were based on a narrative and that narrative was the hustler versus the dynasty so most of these guys were falling in the category of hustlers then william ruto takes over implementing policies that are totally contradicting what he used to stand for so these guys are, are mad. They can't understand Ruto. And lastly, the hustler versus the dynasty narrative is dead. That is what propelled William Ruto to the presidency. So the ordinary Kenyan who voted for Kenya Kwanza and is being confronted with that kind of a message, who is the worst president? He sits back and say, okay, this guy promised to be pro hustlers. I voted for him because of that. Since he took over, nothing like hustlers. I don't know what you think, but that's my take. Until next time, this is Lima Queen. By the way, we really still in was in Kilifi today. I'm still observing certain things from his uh, trip to coast. So far, I think Riley is doing so well and uh, his supporters from the region are piling out of pressure on him to run. Do you think Lelo Dinga should be on the ballot in 2027? Let me hear your comment on that. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.